Use of body positioning affects the progress and discomfort of labor. Using different positions changes the shape of your pelvis so your baby can move more easily into the pelvis and can even help your baby turn into a better position for birth. Some positions take advantage of gravity to help baby move through the birth canal. If you experience back pain, several positions that we will soon talk about can reduce this discomfort. Feel free to try any position that makes the process easier, but try to change positions often, at least every 30 minutes. Use pillows, the bed, a birth ball, or your partner to help you. And remember to go to the bathroom and empty your bladder often. Standing uses gravity to your advantage by helping your baby drop lower into the pelvis. Try leaning forward and resting on your partner. Sway together as if you're slow dancing. Sitting up allows gravity to help your baby drop lower into the pelvis. There are different variations of this position, including semi-sitting, also known as reclined sitting, and sitting leaning forward. Most hospitals have birthing beds, rocking chairs, and birthing balls that can make this sitting position easier for you. When it comes time to push, sitting up or leaning back slightly allows gravity to help move your baby down the birth canal. The lunge opens the pelvis and gives baby room to rotate if your baby is not facing your back. It also helps your baby move down further into the pelvis. Using a stool or low chair, lunge into the direction of the leg that is on the chair. Have someone support you from the back. Side lying can be very useful to you during labor if you are feeling overly fearful or tense as it can promote deep muscle relaxation. Many women reach a point during labor when they feel very tired and exhausted and a desire to rest. If you reach this point, this position can be helpful. The squatting position can be used during a contraction or when it comes time to push. Squatting helps widen the pelvis, giving your baby more room to move down and out. Some hospitals provide a bar on the bed that helps support you in the squatting position. The hands and knees position helps to relieve pressure on the back by using gravity to move the uterus out of the pelvis. You can also try leaning forward and resting on your forearms. Research shows that laboring on hands and knees and doing pelvic rocking helps to turn a posterior baby. A posterior baby means that the back of the baby's head is putting pressure on the mother's back. By doing a pelvic rock, the baby has room to turn and face the back which will feel more comfortable for the mom. In labor, a birth ball can become an important tool and can be used in a variety of positions, including sitting, bouncing, and rocking. For something different, use the ball instead of sitting in the bed, where movement is restricted. The seated position on the ball, similar to a squat, encourages a natural swaying or rotating motion of the pelvis, which helps your baby move down. When leaning over the ball, your support person can provide massage or counterpressure. Counterpressure involves putting pressure on painful areas in your lower back. You will be able to tell what area in your back needs pressure. Your partner can apply pressure using his hands or an object like a tennis ball. 